Okay, we're in Salmon River Park. And we're gonna see if we can see any signs of wild edibles growing in the first spots of spring. It's gonna be fun. Going down to the river bank. Ooh, that water is really clear. It's hard to see because we're in a shady area. I bet that water is very cold. But this is the Salmon River. It's going pretty good right now because it's springtime. Do a touch test. Surprisingly, it's not frigid for being April. We're gonna go down this path for a little bit and see if we can find anything. Lots of cool nooks and crannies on the side of the riverbank. Really gotta try fishing here. There's a lot of trout in the water here. <laughs> Ooh, we got a cool rock. Let's get down there. The rock has a lot of quartz in it, I think. Very neat. I'm gonna keep on heading down the river bank. That's a cool looking tree. Wow. There's more down here too. This river must flood a lot. Because there's a lot of erosion under these trees. You can see all the way down there, lots of erosion. Found another cool rock. I think this one has a lot of quartz in it too. I wish there was a spot to cross the river. I really like to explore up there. There's all kinds of woods up there that people don't go to. Kinds of rocks over here. Looking for wild edibles, and I'm getting distracted by rocks. <laughs> this is an interesting one. We can focus on it. There we go. Very cool. Let's keep going. Okay, so the path got pretty unwalkable back there. So, we're gonna head back this way and uh, see what we can find down the river. Maybe we'll find some neat stuff. So yeah, it looks like we got trout and salmon in here. 
I think the trout you're allowed to keep, the salmon you are not. Pretty neat. I'll have to come fishing here. Make a video of it. Okay, I found my first wild growth. It is a really cool mushroom. I doubt it's edible though. If I can get an ID on this mushroom, that'd be great. If I find one myself, I will put it in the description. That is a very, very pretty mushroom. I like it. The underside's important too. Very neat. I'm not gonna go down there, but that is a skunk cabbage down there. Hopefully we'll find some more. Definitely not edible though. This area down here, a little bit later in the season, is prime mushroom territory. Quite a lot of poisonous ones here, but every once in a while I see bolets. I think that's how you pronounce them. Bolets? Bolets? Not quite sure. But the edible kind. <laughs> recognize these right away. Birch polypores. You can see underneath. Uh, you can kind of see the porous surface. Let me find a better one. Okay. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, you can see right underneath that one. Very cool. I found some much better ones over here. Very cool mushrooms. Found some more stuff down here. I don't think these berries are edible, but I did find berries. They go in like a vine type thing on the ground. It goes too. Like there's some over here, a whole bunch over here. Very neat. Found a stalk growing here out of the ground. Pretty sure that's skunk cabbage as well, but very, very young. Yeah, I'm by no means an expert when it comes to IDing wild edibles, especially mushrooms, but I'm really willing to learn. And honestly, if anyone can help me out with that, I'd be very appreciative because I don't want to mislead anyone either. I just want to do this for educational purposes. So it's cool to know this stuff. So yeah, any help would be very nice. I think I see a lot of skunk cabbage down there. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, it's all over there. Well, that's different. Looks like an old car. Also, I found some very old polypores. We're gonna take a look at that car real quick. Very old. Yeah, someone left looks, looks like a car here a long time ago. I had to guess it's a Jeep. Bunch of holes in it. Very interesting. I actually see there's still some blue paint left. So this was blue at one point. Very eerie. Especially just seeing this out in the forest. Honestly, I think I should do some camping videos. That'd be fun. I could teach you guys how to start fires in various ways. Only for cooking purposes though. Not doing any sketchy stuff with fire. Ooh. There's a lot of broken glass in here. I think I found more bits of that car. At least I think it is.
it might be. I can't, it's hard to tell what this is. What part it was. Speaking of campfires, I found some old remnants of campfires. Got some stones there in circles. And over here, I found an old burnt piece of wood. So people have definitely been uh, camping out over here. It's hard to see down there. The glare, but there are some tiny fish. Well, maybe they'll come out better in editing, but believe me, there's tiny little fish down there. Oh, you can see that one right there. Okay. There we go. I don't know what he's doing. There's a little fish. Blends in very well. Alright. Bye, little fish. It's all kinds of tiny leaves popping up over here, too. I don't know what these are either. I guess one plus side to pollution is, uh, you get a lot of water bottles and, uh, glass bottles out in the wild. Because people hike out here a lot. And they just kind of dump the trash. But, uh, if you ever need to, you can kind of use that to boil water. I wouldn't do it in a plastic one, but this is a glass bottle right here. And you could definitely use that to, uh, boil and purify water. If you're ever uh, in need of that. Finding a lot of nuts that are half eaten around here. I think this is uh, this is from an acorn. But uh, squirrels and other critters are starting to come out and they're starting to eat things. But I just don't know why they're leaving them behind. They're not that tasty. Well, the sun's starting to go down. So... I'm going to head back on the trail and go back to my car for now. Then we'll just have to make another video another time. Uh, as for the wild edibles, I think it's just a little too early in the season. It's still early April and we haven't been getting much days above about 50 degrees. So, hopefully in a couple weeks we'll try again. Mostly I'm looking for like dandelion greens, uh, fiddleheads, any kind of edible mushrooms. There's a bunch of them. But, um, no. We'll see if we can find anything next time. Until then, take care, y'all. Enjoy the forest and the moss. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.